Hello, everyone. Today we're sharing a story about nature's little heroes, bees. Did you know that the bees we see all around us have a small but significant impact on our ecosystems? Let's explore the amazing world of bees together and learn how these tiny creatures support the nature around us, and what the spread of their tiny wings can mean for the flow of nature. Let's dive into their little world together. Bees are cupids that travel from flower to flower to pollinate plants, and the workload of a colony of bees is beyond the capacity of humans to keep up with, even with machines. Without bees, 70% of the top 100 crops grown by humans would be in extreme shortage or would disappear altogether. Agriculture, a technology directly related to human survival, would collapse. Half jokingly, half seriously, without bees, humanity would die out quickly. This role is so important that in mid-2010, a global campaign was organized to protect bees. Bees are smarter than you might think. They're skittish and afraid of people, and won't attack unless you touch them first. Sometimes, they're attracted to the scent of soap or cosmetics. If there are bees flying around, it's not dangerous unless you're near a hive, so don't pay attention to them and continue on your way, and they'll do their thing. If you start freaking out and waving your hands around like you're swatting flies, they'll think you're trying to harm them and will sting you. Bees primarily harvest pollen from flowers and use it to feed behind the scenes. During this process, bees memorize the exact species, amount, and location of flowers. Simultaneously with this pollen harvest, bees make honey. Honey has a high sugar content and a wide range of nutrients, making it an important source of energy not only for bees but also for other animals. Worker bees use dance language to communicate the location of food to other individuals. They use round and waggle dances to communicate the exact distance, direction, and even the type of food. The round dance is used primarily when the food the bees have found is relatively close to the swarm, and they move in a circle in the center of the swarm, indicating the location of the food by circling around the flower. Bees watching the circle dance get the information that the flower is relatively close to the swarm. Waggle dancing is often used when the food is relatively far away from the swarm. The bee points in a specific direction as it moves in a straight line or at an angle, and other bees watching the dance use this information to understand exactly where and how far away the food is. The speed and duration of the dance also indicate the distance of the food. If the dancer is dancing faster, the food is further away. The time a dancer bee spends dancing is proportional to the actual distance, so the other bees can use the dance to understand the exact location and distance of the food. This allows the bee colony to communicate with each other very efficiently and accurately to forage for food and survive. Bee colonies have a complex social structure consisting of queens, workers, and soldiers. The queen is in charge of laying eggs, workers harvest food and make honey, and soldiers assist the female individuals and help the colony run efficiently. The core of a honeybee society starts with the queen. The queen is responsible for laying eggs and giving birth to the individuals in the colony. When the queen lays eggs, she gives birth to about 10,000 workers and hundreds of female individuals. Worker bees fulfill a variety of roles within the colony. They forage for food, produce nectar, and fly from flower to flower to collect pollen, among other activities. This division of labor is essential for efficient survival. Worker bees have incredible flight capabilities. They fly hundreds of kilometers a day, traveling from flower to flower. This contributes to the effective collection of pollen and the production of honey. Worker bees carry out female individuals. The queen does not actively lay eggs, and the workers are responsible for reproduction by producing male individuals. This creates a diversity of genes within the colony, giving them an edge in the competition for survival. Bees exhibit incredible cooperation among members of the colony. Whether it's harvesting food, collecting pollen, making honey, or defending the colony, they efficiently perform their various roles to ensure the survival of the colony as a whole. Bees have evolved over millions of years to optimize their ability to fly. They have developed the ability to fly for long periods of time on weak wing beats, which gives them a huge advantage when foraging for food and moving from flower to flower. Worker bees fly hundreds of kilometers to find food. 
They work cooperatively with their colonies to explore large areas, constantly adjusting their flight paths from flower to flower. Bees are able to maintain low speeds and high stability in flight. This helps them get deep inside flowers, detect minute movements, and effectively collect pollen and nectar. Worker bees collect pollen as they travel from flower to flower. They go to the stamens at the center of the flower, collect pollen, and then move on to the next flower, spreading the pollen as they go. This behavior contributes to the reproduction of flowers and benefits the ecosystem. Bees are able to adjust their own flight paths while in flight. A perfectly calculated course allows them to effectively locate flowers and nectar and find the most food with the least amount of energy. Honey is made primarily from a combination of pollen harvested from flowers by worker bees and their own secretions. Worker bees bring the pollen mixed with their own secretions back to the hive and store it in special pouches, where it ferments under the action of specialized enzymes to form honey as we know it. Different types of flowers produce different types of honey, each of which has a different flavor and aroma depending on the type of flower, geographic location, and season. For example, acacia honey has a mild, light flavor, while lavender honey retains the fragrance of the flower. Honey is naturally very resistant and has a long shelf life due to the low water content in its composition, which prevents microorganisms from growing. Honey should generally be stored in a dark place and at low temperatures. Exposure to light can change its color and cause a loss of nutrients. Also, at low temperatures, honey can crystallize, but returns to a fluid state as the temperature rises. Bees harvest pollen from flowers and spread it to other flowers. This allows different species of flowers to thrive and maintains the diversity of the ecosystem. For example, an orchard's ecosystem can thrive because bees collect pollen from the flowers of fruit trees and spread it to the flowers of other trees. Bees also move pollen back and forth between crops and flowers. This helps ensure that plants throughout the ecosystem are properly pollinated. When bees absorb pollination from flowers and transfer it to other plants, they facilitate the exchange of water within the ecosystem. Bees also collect pollen and nectar to make honey. This honey serves as a food source not only for bees, but also for a variety of other animals. Other animals feed on the pollen from the flowers that bees have pollinated, forming a food chain in the ecosystem. Finally, bees improve the stability of the ecosystem through pollen dispersal and nectar production. By creating dependencies between different organisms, they allow the ecosystem to be resilient to a sudden decrease or increase in one species. The activity of bees keeps ecosystems balanced, providing diversity and stability. Bees store nectar in their burrows or walls to help their colonies survive the winter months. This is one of the unique ways that bees live, allowing the colony to remain active during the frozen season. During the winter, most flowers are not blooming, and pollen cannot be harvested because plants are dead or dormant, making it difficult for bees to make new nectar. Therefore, bees harvest nectar from a variety of flowers during the summer and fall, and store it in their homes. During the winter, bees survive by feeding on this stored nectar. Honey is a nutritious food rich in sugars, water, vitamins, minerals, and more, and by sharing it, members of a bee colony gain protection from the cold and other resources they need to survive. By efficiently storing and utilizing this nectar, bees have the energy they need to sustain their colonies through the winter and raise new generations. We've been exploring the amazing world of bees with you. Small but mighty, bees have a huge impact on ecosystems and subtly influence our daily lives. By helping flowers reproduce, pollinating crops, and acting as a food source, bees perform important activities that keep ecosystems balanced. However, bees don't just benefit humans by making honey, they also balance the ecosystem by transferring pollen from flower to flower, allowing many plants to reproduce and maintain their populations. So, if bees were to go extinct, human economies would immediately suffer. It's important to recognize the contributions these little heroes make to our ecosystems and think about how we can coexist with nature. By understanding the subtle world of bees, we can hopefully move towards maintaining and respecting a harmonious relationship with nature. We hope this video has given you a new perspective on bees and ecosystems. Thank you for watching.